Hello and welcome. My name is Amulya, and you are watching Tube Mint. In this video, I'm going to show you how to install MediaWiki on your server, so web hosting server, using cPanel interface. So this is cPanel, and you've got so many plugins that lets you do things with just few clicks. If you do not know how to do things on Linux server using command line or terminal. So this is where it comes in the picture to help you install and manage your softwares and packages on your server. So let's get started. So before you go ahead and start installing MediaWiki on your specific domain, you want to make sure you got your domain added to this account. So hosting account. Now let's go ahead and add it. In order to add, you look for add on domains and click on it. Here on this page you will have to type in your domain name with its, with its extension and then hit add domain and on the next page if your domain name with is with the same company your web hosting is with you won't need to verify it it will be verified that you own it automatically in case if it's with other domain name registrar then you will have to basically um, verify it manually so on the next page you will get a code that needs to be added to your domain name register uh, domain name dns and that's a record that you need to add and once it's added come here and click on verify domain and this will go ahead and verify in just matter of 5 or 10 minutes maximum. So once you've got your domain verified, we will go ahead and install the MediaWiki. So to install MediaWiki, simply go ahead and look for the Soft Qlith Apps Installer. This helps install any application, uh, PHP based application, sometimes JavaScript as well. So scripts based on JavaScript can be also installed with this soft Qlis apps installer now you can go ahead and click on this if you don't see here just scroll down and look for this section which is at the very bottom soft Qlis apps installer and look for this media wiki if you don't see it here that's not a problem what we need to do then we need to click on this wikis you can see it here in the categories go ahead and click on it and this is going to open this thing here and here you have media wiki if you don't see that if you just see this soft Qlis app installer no problem go ahead and click on it and you will have a similar interface like the previous one and under categories you will have to click on this wikis and go with the media wiki click here or click here so this will give you if you have to something if you have if you want something to look like 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 uh, the Wikipedia interface then you you must go with this media wiki this is really handy free to use so go ahead and install it so let's install it simply you can see uh, it's available the latest version of media wiki is 1.3.4.2 which is available now to install it we can go ahead and hit install on install now or you can go ahead and view the demo so let's go ahead and install now so click it and this is going to pre-select your the latest version of media wiki now next you need to go ahead and select the protocol that you want to use with this installation so we are going to use this HTTPS and then select the domain name that you want to use for this media wiki installation now this HTTPS which is SSL certificate will be automatically activated on your domain if you're using Namecheap um, hosting however it's going to be free only for the first year then you will have to pay for it and with others um, hosting companies you might get it free forever with with depending on which plan you're going to purchase from them otherwise you may have to buy it if you do not want to buy there are um, free SSL certificate providers that you can use and you will have to renew it every third month 
if you want to use the free one now once that's done you come here and go with the site configuration so go ahead and give it a name wiki name so that's going to be a job wiki go ahead and give it an email a working email address this will be used to reset password and communicate with any updates available or anything happens on your website so admin is going to be a job admin do not go with the default one always change and try to go with the unique admin name and password as well so I'm going to keep somewhere then you have to select the password make sure your password scores above 80 then select the language it's available in these languages enable uploads go ahead and enable uploads you definitely want to upload images if yeah in most of the cases then we have advanced options go ahead and change the database name if you wish to uh, prefix table can table prefix can also be changed but make sure you keep this underscore at the end and then you've got backup options so this is going to be backed up in a default location and go ahead and choose when you want it to be backed up so once a week is going to be enough if you're going to work like every day once a day in your case so once a week for me and then just type in the working email address here so that you can get all the details about this installation and oops that's not correct email here we are now before you hit install now go ahead and recheck everything so let's have a look at everything that matters mm, on this page now once you're happy with everything go ahead and hit install so I've selected PHP 7.3 as a default PHP version I've also got extensions ready for connectivity database connectivity like PDO MySQL and MySQLi these are two extensions that are used to connect to the database now here we can go ahead and view it so HTTPS is still being installed it takes time up to 10 minutes so we will have a look at here if it's going to work on this browser but it's not working so I'm going to use a different browser and that's Firefox so let's have a look how this media wiki looks here now go ahead and use your other browser if your SSL is taking time like mine and here we have this media wiki and this is the main page so it it looks like this Wikipedia so if you're looking something like if you're looking for something like this for your site or wiki pages go ahead and use it it's completely free to log in uh, you just come on to this page and you can see it says title special user login so just go ahead and copy it save it somewhere copy it and I'm going to open this in a new tab so you can see you are the owner now of this media wiki website so a job admin or media I forgot I perhaps have forgotten it okay so that was password go ahead and keep me logged in hit it and we are in the dashboard area you can see here you can manage anything so here we have Adobe a job admin you can definitely go ahead and customize it and I can see it's very fast as well so yeah, it's more like Wikipedia so if you're looking for something like this go ahead and use media wiki 
to create your website or any project that you're working on alrighty so that's it for this video if you have any questions suggestion leave in the comment below I will try to answer it ASAP thank you so much for watching this video please like share and subscribe to my channel as well goodbye for now. good luck